I love driving Isuzu trucks. If you haven't driven this new Isuzu yet, just wait until you get behind the wheel. It's a workhorse and technological marvel. For 21 years, Isuzu low-cab forward trucks have been America's number one choice. And you'll find the same legendary dependability, low cost of operation, and ease of maintenance in the current lineup. Our new engines have been designed with increased horsepower and torque, clean and efficient operation, and good fuel economy. Now, starting January 1st, 2007, all diesel engines produced must meet new government regulations. These new regulations require significant reduction of nitrogen oxide and particulate emissions present in diesel exhaust gases. Isuzu's engineering team spent years developing and testing its diesel emission system to meet these stringent new standards. Now, let's take a look at the most significant enhancement to the vehicle engine emission system, the diesel particulate filter. We'll call it the DPF. The DPF captures particulate matter in the engine's exhaust by filtering soot and larger sulfate particles in a series of closed-in channels. Now, the particulates are trapped and accumulate on the channel walls. To prevent the DPF from clogging, the trapped particles are burned off or cleaned using a high-temperature regeneration process. So, what does this mean to the driver? Well, there are two lamps that identify the status of the regeneration. A green lamp to indicate the DPF is actively regenerating and an amber or red lamp to indicate the DPF is dirty and requires regeneration. One indicator with two possible colors. Now these two lamps are illuminated in different sequences and colors to communicate DPF filter status and regeneration modes to the driver. There are three regeneration modes you should be familiar with. Automatic, manual, and selectable regeneration. Automatic regeneration is seamless and only noticeable to the driver by indication of the illuminated green lamp. If the truck is operating in the automatic regeneration mode, no driver interaction is required. Continue to operate the vehicle as usual until regeneration is completed. This will typically take 20 to 30 minutes. Now, keep in mind that if truck operation requires the vehicle to come to a stopped or park in idling condition, Engine speed will increase to approximately 900 RPMs until the regeneration process completes. Particulate matter begins to burn off whenever exhaust temperatures are above 572 degrees Fahrenheit. Typical highway driving and high load conditions produce the necessary temperatures. Automatic regeneration usually occurs every 180 miles, but because of driving patterns and operating conditions, it may occur sooner or not complete at all. We've just covered automatic regeneration. The next mode is manual regeneration. Now, the driver will need to perform manual regeneration if the amber or red DPF lamps illuminate. The amber lamp means the DPF is partially clogged, and you will need to perform regeneration as soon as possible. The red lamp means the DPF is severely clogged, and you will need to perform regeneration immediately. To remind you of this, an audible chime will sound whenever the amber or red lamps are lit. Failure to regenerate will result in reduced engine power and illumination of the orange malfunction indicator lamp. Now, you have two options when performing manual regeneration, running regeneration or switched regeneration. Running regeneration requires the vehicle to be driven at 30 miles an hour or above. This is intended to increase the exhaust temperature and burn off the accumulated matter. At this point, the green lamp will illuminate along with the amber lamp this indicates the regeneration process has started. Once both lamps are lit, the process can take up to 20 minutes of continual driving above 30 miles per hour. After it's complete, both lamps will turn off. Switched regeneration requires the vehicle to be stopped and parked in a safe location. Park the vehicle and firmly apply the parking brake. Shift the transmission into park, or if you have a manual transmission, shift into neutral. Make sure engine idle controls are at the lowest setting and stop operation of the power takeoff if your vehicle is equipped with one. With the engine running at normal idle speed, press the DPF switch. The green lamp will illuminate along with the amber or red lamp and the engine's RPMs will increase to indicate regeneration has started. Remain parked with the engine running until the process is complete and both lamps go out. So, what happens if the driver ignores the DPF lamps? If the amber lamp illuminates and regeneration is not performed after approximately 30 miles of vehicle operation, it will turn from amber to red. 
If the driver ignores the red lamp after approximately another 30 miles, the orange engine malfunction lamp will illuminate and reduced engine power will occur. Once a switched regeneration has been initiated, it must be completed before automatic and running regeneration modes are available again. The following actions will interrupt a switched regeneration. Applying the accelerator pedal, raising engine RPMs with the hand idle control switch, releasing the parking brake, engaging the power takeoff, switching the DPF switch off, shifting the transmission into gear, or depressing the clutch pedal. The red lamp will remain illuminated if switched regeneration has been interrupted. Failure to restart and complete the regeneration cycle will result in illumination of the orange malfunction indicator lamp and reduced engine power. This lamp indicates a possible concern with engine or emission performance. Engine power will be reduced by 30% and the vehicle should not be operated except to move it safely away from congested roadways. This condition can only be diagnosed and repaired by your authorized Isuzu dealer. For vehicles built prior to July 2008, a new calibration is available that will allow automatic regeneration if a switched or selectable regeneration has been interrupted. See your authorized Isuzu dealer for details. Now, here's something very important to remember. The exhaust gases coming out of the tailpipe are extremely hot during regeneration. And that's why there's an exhaust cooler behind the DPF. So, if you stop the truck to regenerate, park over a clear area, and stay away from combustible materials such as dry leaves or grass. There's one additional mode you and your customers may find beneficial. This mode is called selectable regeneration. It allows the vehicle operator to check if DPF regeneration is possible. When certain parameters have been met, the system will indicate if a manually selected regeneration can be performed or not. Now, Here's how to determine whether a selectable regeneration is available. Park the vehicle and firmly apply the parking brake. Shift the transmission into park, or if you have a manual transmission, shift it into neutral. Make sure engine idle controls are at the lowest setting and stop operation of the power takeoff if your vehicle is equipped with one. And with the engine running at normal idle speed, the driver must press and hold the DPF switch until the amber lamp turns on. If the amber lamp goes off, selectable regeneration is not necessary. If the amber lamp stays on, it means selectable regeneration is possible. Press the DPF switch again to start selectable regeneration. The green lamp will illuminate along with the amber lamp to indicate regeneration is taking place. Now, this process will take about 20 minutes. Once selectable regeneration has been initiated, it must be completed before automatic or running regeneration modes are available again. For the quickest possible regeneration, be sure the vehicle is at operating temperature before performing selectable regeneration. Well, we've just covered a lot of information about the diesel particulate filter and regeneration process. Let's do a quick review. There are three modes of regeneration, automatic, manual, and selectable. Automatic regeneration is designed to occur under typical driving conditions and is indicated by the green lamp. If driving conditions are not met and there is too much buildup in the DPF, then the amber or red light will illuminate. This means you will need to perform manual regeneration. And the third mode is selectable regeneration. This gives you the option of performing the regeneration process before any lights go on. There are a couple of other items you need to know about when you're operating this truck. To conform to emissions regulations, this truck requires the use of ultra-low sulfur diesel fuel and CJ4 rated low ash engine oil. We've designed our emission systems to work efficiently with these new fuels and lubricants. With over 70 years experience, Isuzu is a global leader in diesel engine design and manufacturing. Our commitment to providing industry leading technology is your assurance that we will continue to deliver products that meet your trucking needs today and well into the future. We hope that you found this information to be useful, and thanks for buying Zuzu.